Howdy, howdy. This is proof right here that the water pump caused not the majority, but I would say 98% of the problem. I'm sure the tensioner had to be changed and the timing belt literally ripped in half because of all the pressure on it from the bearings falling, falling out of the water pump. But you can also see that the bearings started to rattle up against this um, and you say, well what is this? This is the lower timing belt cover. Uh, you can see a, a really good gash there. And I, I guess just enough um, bearings and general crap fell out of the water pump that it uh, it uh, seized up one of the cam gears. Well, not one of the cam gears, but one of the sprocket gears. Uh, enough so that it, it caused enough pressure to not only rip the timing belt in half, but also somehow destroy the vacuum pump at the end of the cam, the cam at the upper part of the engine. So this is uh, trying to find out what's going on. Uh, you know, it's good to have verification that what you're fixing is what's wrong. So uh, once again, change your timing belt and always change your water pump. It, uh, side note, even though that water pump dumped all of its bearings, its center bearings, it still continued to function. If it hadn't deviated so much from its center uh, sprocket position, it, it would have continued to work. The uh, the seal, which you know I talk about German engineering, but the seal is pretty good actually because there's no surface seal. There's a shaft seal. The shaft seal works a lot better than the uh, surface seal. So uh, there was no water pump, uh, no no coolant leaking into the timing belt area. Not until I removed the water pump, of course. But um, I did have seepage past the cam gear. So uh, with the kit, you know, you, you get a good quality kit, timing belt kit and you're going to get that cam seal. Uh, I, I suggest even if your cam seal is good because you've opened it up, go ahead and replace that cam seal. Alright, uh, take care and keep on trucking any little TDIs.